All right, then before this video starts, I just want to give a quick disclaimer to everyone that this is content only for educational purposes only, and then that this is in the control environment, a CTF environment in which we're able to practice this. So this is not illegal, but I guess the practices are kind of are. But anyway, let's get started. So today we're going to be doing a uh, uh, Lotus Equalite challenge called Zombie. And if you look closely at the code, it's basically the same thing as we did last time where we have to get the get result equal to our result. So first what we wanted, so we want to get whatever we get. So whatever we enter inside PW in that case, LS, LS. So whatever it's inside here, we're sp it's supposed to equal to the result and the result is whatever is printed out after PW. So I guess what we want to be able to print out is PW. So PW is equal to one uh, percentage 23. Let's try that to comment the rest of the thing out and not, I guess, cause it. Nothing yet. Oh, wait. Let's try a union select one. Uh, union select one. All right, then. So what we see here, so in this case, one was turned. One is, I guess, true for the most part. So we want to be able to return anything after the, re uh, so the result, if you see right here, PW is whatever that's returned right here. So result in our case is one. But what we want to be able to return is unique select one hashtag. It's what we want to be able to return since that's our get value that we're getting, that we're putting inside PW. So how do we do this? So this is where I, if you guys saw my notes, I guess previously is where we're gonna use something called process list. So what is process list? So in my SQL, a process list indicates the operations or the set of threads executing within the server. So what does that thing whole mean right there? So what does that entirely mean? So I went to the manual page and looked up that if you run select all from performance schema process list, you get all of this, but the thing that's more interesting to me is this very last part, the info part. So I'm guessing this has like three processes currently running, but the very last one, which holds our info, holds the exact same query that we have inside here. So that makes it a lot interesting for the most part. So now if we go down right here, we look at what info holds. Info is the statement or the thread that is executing or no, if there's no executing statement. So that means we're able to get whatever we're sending out and uh, we're able to get that entire thing. So if I go on SQL test and I already had it already set up right here where I had select all from information schema table process list. If I press enter on that execute, we see that we get the ID, the user, the host DB query zero executing and the info from it. So we get all this info from it look at this we get it matches to this whatever we enter inside our query so let's see if we just copy this select all but this time except the union select what we'll do is basically union select and then we'll just take off this union select union and then we we'll just add uh whatever we had right here union select all from process list i think it was a uh, information schema oh, all yeah, right right here i just copy this select uh union union select all from information schema process list was this the same thing um performance schema same thing i think for the most part so we'll just copy this oh so if we just run this execute we will get I have different uh, union select. Yeah, all right then. So, uh, oh wait, I broke it. Uh, select from PW from poly zombies where PW is empty, or then we do union select all from information schema hash question hashtag. Hmm. Have a different number of columns. Oh. So we can't select all, but we want to be able to select is info. So we can't, I think, I think we can only return one thing. So I'll just return info. 
that's what happens now. So you see right here, our entire, our entire thing got inputted. So let's say for example, we, this is gonna hold our, um, if I go right here, open up a note, oh yeah, this, this should work. So currently, I'll just delete this. Currently, if we insert this query, the union select all from process list, so all of this. Oh my gosh, this makes it kind of difficult. I'll just do this. <laughs> Currently, yeah, like I said before, if we, and this is our get value. So this is our get value. And we want our, um, our get value equal to our, if you look back to the thing right here, we want our get value equal to the result and result is holding something else. Result want equal to our result. That's what we want to do. But result, since we're selecting info, is going to return info. But what does info hold? So if we go back and then go right here, info is going to hold the entire query. Result equal to this entire query. And uh, let's see if I can put it on the bottom. Just like zoom out again. So yeah, so we have select from information schema, and this is our res our result going to hold this entire thing, and this is currently not equal. So what do we need to do? So we know that our guess whatever we input it, but our result we have to change it, and this is where we get to use the idea behind substring. So with substring, we're able to get a part of it from the info. So this is our info which is where we're getting it all because it's returning the info. So it's returning the info, right? Like right here. So we pass in info right here, which is all of this, which is all of this or so result slash info because that's what it's returning. It's returning all of this. So we pass in info and what we want to do is be able to figure out when, once we reach right here, at what length so we'll figure need to figure out that length and then figure out the x length if you guys don't know how substring works you basically only need the beginning part and then you want how much you need afterward exactly until we reach right here because this is oh wait, if you delete this because we're only inserting up to here for the most part but this is all we're inserting inside the get and we we want to be able to reach from right here all the way to right here so how do we do this? So how do we figure out the the beginning part? So what I did for the most part is I made a script, Python scripting. So this is where it works for the most part. So right here, I was just testing it out, but so we do bat cat and then solve. But we did, what I did right here was get the entire string that's returning and I put an X value right here, an X from information schema process list. And what I did is made a counter so I'll go through the entire stream and then after that, I'll count it from where it starts at. So if I run this Python three solve.py, we see that there's an associated value right next to an associated char in the string. And if we check where the this should happen for the most part, if we check where this should happen, so select union. So it happens at 37. So this is where it happens. So what we could do is basically just put in that specific value of where the select all happens. So select from PW zombie where PW is equal to that. Then union select from where PW is that M space space. Mm hmm. Yeah, so yeah. So select from probably I'm repeating. Oh, there was probably one more. No, wait, no, wait. No, that's sure it worked. Yeah. So anyway, 
we figure out where it happens and in our case it happens at 38 that's what we get so we go back right here select from from all of this so what I did we just did that and then so now we know where I guess exactly it happens it happens at 38 union select all all of this because this doesn't get this doesn't count it only counts from right here so it starts at 38 on this space part so now we know it starts at 38 but now we need to figure out how long until we reach the the hashtag so what I did was just basically which us see let's cat uh solve the pi uh, let's back as you can see it back as solve the pi and so we know it starts from right here Oop. so what I did was just basically just simply copy it all the way until we reach the hashtag and then after that I just ran Python three then I just did length of this entire string and then just inserted my string right there and then did that and we see we got in this case we got 74 74 was our um, is where it reached it at so now we know where it starts and where it ends so if you go right here and if we just put it inside here so um, I already have my payload already set right here my pre-made payload that I already had set so if I go back and just uh, copy it for the most part uh, solution and what I said 74 unless I messed it up so it looks like I did mess it up so what do I change to 75 I'm off by one Union select sub string from information oh percentage 23 percentage 23 so what also oh, did count this so what I did was after I guess I forgot to count the the little this little thing right here so it actually starts at um, uh, 74 for the most part so what I'll do is go back right here so I forgot to add I guess the to count this so this will probably be something like this and just do something like that to escape it and it and then 75 so that's how we get 75 I, I forgot to add the, the little this little thing right here and now if we I guess if we exit out right here Python 3 solve that pi that means so we do select it might have been a space at the beginning, so that maybe that's why we're kind of off by one. So if we could do like uh nano solve that pi, there might be like a little space at right here at the beginning. So that's why we're kind of off. And if you check right here, 38 will be where it starts at, where the first quotation mark happens, and then we go all the way. So that's where we get 38. Yes, I kind of messed up on that part, but anyway, that's how you do this challenge for the most part. Because you want to be able to, you know, right here we're selecting the info, which is returning our entire query. And then from the info, we're supposed to cut it up using the substring uh, function that we have uh, right here. And then we need to figure out where it reaches 38. 38 meaning where it reaches uh, this part. So what, how I did that was just basically write a script until we figure out where it reaches this. And it turns out that character 38 and from there we need to figure out how many more characters until we reach this hashtag and what what you could simply do is just copy this entire string all the way up to the hashtag and just figure out the length of it and so that's what I did right here and then just did Python 3 and then did a length of that Uh, oh. and home and to escape it and in 75 so yeah that was about it for this challenge hopefully you guys learned something new today i know i did pretty cool challenge for the most part anyway that's about it
Peace.